Hello and welcome to this video on essential document in clinical trial. As you know, clinical trial are complex and require the creation and use of various document to ensure the quality, safety and ethical consideration. So essential document are those document which individually and collectively permit evaluation of the conduct of the clinical trial and the quality of the data produced. Basically, this essential document provide guidance, structure and oversight for the trial and ensure that the trial is conducted in compliance with the regulatory requirement and at the same time GCP. In this video, we are going to cover most important essential document in clinical trial. So this video is going to be useful in your clinical trial interview plus it will help in understanding the basic of clinical trial documentation. So coming to our first essential document that is what is 1572 form. So guys 1572 form also known as FDA form 1572 is a form used by US FDA to collect information about investigator conducting clinical trial. Basically, it is an agreement between sponsor and PI that requires investigator to provide information about the qualification, experience and facilities. This form is used to examine the qualification of investigator and to ensure that they have the necessary resource to conduct a trial in scientific and ethically sound manner. So this is all about 1572 form coming to next essential document that is investigator brochure. So guys what is investigator brochure? It is a comprehensive guide containing both clinical and non-clinical data related to IP that is going to be used in clinical trial. It contains important information about the IP as well as information on the study design, procedures and patient population. The investigator brochure helps investigator to understand the study drug and to make informed decision about the trial. It also helps to ensure that the trial is conducted in a safe and scientific sound manner. The IB is typically developed by sponsor of the trial and serve as a reference guide for investigator throughout the course of a trial. So this is all about the investigator brochure. Now what is meant by protocol? Protocol is a detailed plan that outlines the objective, design, procedures and end point of the trial. It provides a roadmap for the trial and outlines the steps that need to be taken to achieve the trial goal. The protocol is reviewed and approved by the regulatory authority and ethics committee before the trial can begin. So in short word, protocol is like a bible for the study. So this was the third important essential document. Now coming to the fourth, that is what is meant by informed consent form. So guys, it is an another critical document in clinical trial. Basically, informed consent form is designed to inform participants about the purpose, procedures, risk, benefit and alternatives of the trial. Before a participant can enroll in a clinical trial, they must sign the informed consent form to indicate that they understand the information provided and agree to participate in the trial. It helps to ensure that the participant understand what they are agreeing when they decide to participate in the trial. Informed consent form is an important tool for protecting the right of trial participant. So this was the fourth document. Now coming to fifth, that is case report form. So what is case report form? It is a document used to record and track data about individual trial participant. CRF include information on the participant demographic, medical history and treatment information. The information recorded on the CRF used to analyze the safety, efficacy of the IP, device or treatment and to determine whether it is effective in treating the condition being studied. The CRF is a key tool for monitoring the progress of a trial and for analyzing the data collected. So this is all about case report form. Now coming to financial disclosure form. So what is FDEF? It is a document that require PI to disclose any financial interest or relationship with the sponsor or manufacturer of the study drug device or treatment. The purpose of the financial disclosure form is to ensure that the trial is conducted in an unbiased manner and to prevent any potential financial conflict of interest from affecting the result or integrity of the trial. The financial disclosure form typically asks questions about any financial interest such as stock ownership, consulting fees, research grant or other financial relationship that the investigator or study staff may have with the sponsor, manufacturer or other involved in the clinical trial. The financial disclosure form helps to ensure that the trial is conducted in an impartial manner and that the data is collected is not influenced by any financial conflict of interest. So this is all about financial disclosure form. Now coming to accountability form. 
So what is accountability form in clinical trial? It is a document used to used in clinical trial to track and record the use, handling and storage of IP in a clinical trial. It typically include information such as quantity of IP given to subject, quantity of IP which has been consumed by the subject, quantity of IP which has been unused and quantity of IP which has been at the site. The purpose of the accountability form is to ensure that the IP is handled, stored and used appropriately and in accordance with the study protocol and applicable regulation. It helps to reduce the risk of material loss or contamination and to ensure that the, all the study related material are accounted for and can be tracked if needed. The accountability form is an important tool for managing the clinical trial process and used to demonstrate compliance with the regulatory requirement and GCP. So this is all about the accountability form. Now moving forward to delegation log. So delegation log is a document used in clinical trial to track and record delegation of responsibility from the study sponsor or CRO that is clinical research organization to other members of the study team. It typically includes information such as the task or responsibility being delegated, name of the person or team responsible for the delegated task, the date of the delegation, then name of the person or the team delegating the task or any relevant notes or comment, comment regarding the delegation. The purpose of delegation law is to ensure that the responsibilities and the tasks are clearly assigned within the study team and to provide a record of the delegation process. This helps to reduce confusion, improve accountability and ensure that all the study related tasks are completed in a time and efficient manner. Delegation log is a critical component of the clinical trial management process and typically reviewed regularly to ensure that all the delegation are being managed effectively according to the study protocol and in compliance with the GCP. So now coming to statistical analysis plan. The statistical analysis plan or SAP is a document that outlines the how data is going to be collected in clinical trial and how it will be analyzed and interpreted. The SAP includes information on the statistical method that will be used to analyze the data, the endpoint that will be evaluated and the sample size calculation. The SAP is reviewed and approved by the regulatory authority before the trial can begin. Now coming to subject log. So guys subject log is also known as subject tracking log. It is a document used in clinical trial to keep track of the enrollment and participation of the individual study subject. It typically includes information such as name and unique identification number of, of each study subject, then date of enrollment, the study visit completed by each subject and date on which they were completed, any adverse event experienced by each subject and date they occurred and the status of each subject that is whether they are active, completed or withdrawn. So guys, the purpose of the subject log is to provide a centralized, up-to-date record of the progress and each study subject. This helps to ensure that the study is conducted according to the protocol, according to the protocol, and that all the subjects are tracked and monitored appropriately. The subject log is an important tool for managing the clinical trial process and used by study team to monitor the progress of the study, ensure that all the subjects receive appropriate care and treatment and report any adverse event to the appropriate regulatory authorities. Now coming to the last document that is monitoring plan. Monitoring plan is a plan that outlines the strategy and procedure for monitoring the progress of a trial including data collection, safety monitoring and quality assurance. The monitoring plan typically includes information on the study design, study procedure, study site as well as the frequency and method of monitoring. It also includes guidelines for the monitoring of adverse event, protocol deviation and other critical aspect of the clinical trial. The plan is usually developed by the sponsor or the CRO responsible for conducting the trial. So guys, monitoring plan is designed to ensure that the trial is conducted according to the study protocol and that the data collected is accurate and reliable. So guys, this is all about the monitoring plan. So this was the last document. So coming to the conclusion of this video is that Essential documents play a critical role in conduct of the clinical trial. They provide guidance, structure and oversight and help to ensure that the trial is conducted in a safe, ethical and scientific sound manner. And from protocol to informed consent form to the case report form and the statistical analysis plan, this document are important tool for the success of clinical trial. That's it. Thank you for watching this video guys. 
i hope that you now have a better understanding of the role that this document play in the conduct of a clinical trial and also if you have any question or comment please leave them in the comment section below and last don't forget to subscribe our channel for more video like this